three of the loyal retainers. Stand back, assistant. I'll speak their names and command them. Lorimaro, Parhalia, Valip Palin, Jan Varla, and, um, hang on, I don't know that last name. No, no, wait! There we are. Now to return to the altar. I'll go ahead and dust myself off a bit from the battle. Take the wine on your way out. We'll be needing that. The contents of this bottle, they've been partially used. They've been drinking on the job. A moment, assistant. <laughs> Thanks to my dazzling intellect, I have deduced that we should anoint the altar with sacred water. Assistant, apply the sacred water. Simple. Sacred water goes on an altar. It's quite obvious. Any fool would see that. When you have been at this as long as I have, you develop a sixth sense for these things. Place all three items on the altar, but we will use the sacred water. Trust me. If you would place all three items that we collected onto the altar, we can proceed. And now, anoint the altar with the sacred water. With this, our way is opened. Did it! Ahem. Just as I predicted. A tribute to the wine shared between the retainers upon their arrival. Good job following my instructions, assistant. I'll make an explorer of you yet. I'm going on ahead. Onward to discovery!
And here we are, the emblem. But it is sealed away by magic. Surely these tiles, pressed in correct sequence, will remove the warding spells on it. That carving looks important. It is some form of epitaph to the five loyal retainers. I'd venture it's crucial to releasing the emblem of the last king. But of course, you'd be a fool to think that a treasure hunter as respectable as myself would have no experience with a simple tile puzzle. Hmm, you know, it does seem quite reminiscent of that. The tiles are the same, but if I recall correctly, Veloth's solution was on the walls. Perhaps the solution to this one can be found within this epitaph. I could, but let's think of this as a teachable moment. A final examination, so to speak. You should work this one out on your own. I'll be here to supervise. Manasseh's Dren is no stranger to a puzzle, but can his assistant exhibit the same prowess? Let's wait and see. Go on now, read that epitaph. Give it your all. I'll be here for the point at which you undoubtedly will need my consult. Allow me to advise. Read the epitaph very clearly. The wine we found earlier leads me to believe this place hosted a gathering of the five loyal retainers. A final toast, perhaps, using the finest drink. Given my professional expertise in solving puzzles, I'd venture that the path you take to cross these tiles is related to this nearby epitaph. The tale goes that the five loyal retainers traveled from afar to get here. Exactly. Perhaps that indicates the distance and direction to be moved. Regardless, I entrust this solution to you. I'll be here, uh, detailing the epitaph and these tiles for my notes. Hurry now, assistant. Surely you can handle this. This place is in a disarray. Do you think you... I mean, we could excavate one of these tiles? No, no. Narcissus Drain does not loot. Let me instead commit them to my notes here.
now clear, and the emblem of the last king calls to me. Come, look at it. It's marvelous, floating there, just waiting to be taken. Any now, assistant, we have found the emblem of the last king. It's been waiting so long for me to recover it. Step aside, assistant. The great and wise Narciss Dren will now seize the emblem. I intend to present it to my assistant, Elf Beta, at her southern camp. Yes, that sounds sufficiently thrilling. Fool of an assistant, do not disturb me or I'll have you demoted to a footnote in my next book. You stumbled through much, and now your reward is to watch me finally grasp the emblem of the last king. Ah, the emblem at last. I've bested those recollection fools. No! A trap! It's that petrification gas! Take the emblem to El Beta! I... I... I was beginning to get worried. My dear Narcissus is always overflowing with tales of his discoveries. I find myself impatient, waiting to hear about them. Ah, oh, the emblem! Excellent! And Narcissus? Oh, he'll be along soon, I expect. My dear Narcissus is always getting stuck somewhere. Here you go. I think this should cover your time and effort. Thank you. I need to take my leave shortly. Nasa should turn up any time now. Perhaps I should go looking for him. In any event, thank you for your help. Is he not masterful? Wise, kind and thoughtful, and so daring. This emblem that you've returned with is simply fascinating. I'll begin cataloging it while I wait for him to return. I understand. Sometimes he gets so involved I have to drag him away. Knowledge and research always come first for Narcissus. He's a rock-solid scholar. I need to take my leave shortly. Narcissus should turn up any time now. 
Perhaps I should go looking for him. In any event, thank you for your help. Oh dear, should I wait here? Should we go after him? I, I don't want him to think I believe he needs constant oversight, but he does get so wrapped up in his work. Ever the thoughtful scholar, my Narcissus. Very well, I shall do as you say. Is there anything else I may do for you before I take my leave? I need to take my leave shortly. Narcissus should turn up any time now. Perhaps I should go looking for him. In any event, thank you for your help. Magister Erin never let me watch me do this. It's so interesting. Treasure? wanted us to find. A portal recently used by Athelia and re- come this way to make use of the celestial palanquin? Hmm. Baragon and Tribune Alea were right behind us, but have not yet appeared. 
We should confer, Proxy. The portal deposited us in the demiplane of Fargrave. It is a realm without a prince that serves as a crossroad through oblivion. A thousand doors lead in and out of Fargrave, or so it is said. But the fate of Baragon and the Tribune concerns me. They were. Did something divert them? While Fargrave is a realm of limitless portals, including many that are permanent, the plane can play havoc with portal spells. No matter. There is no time to search for them. We have problems of our own. I sense a huge force of Shardborn ahead. And in my previous visits, I never saw anything like those crystalline growths. I think Athelia reshaped this part of Fargrave when she came this way. I wonder, was this her destination, or a means to an end? The true origins of Fargrave are lost. Did she come here to access another plane, or could this demi-plane have once been a part of Miramore? Well, we shall not find our allies or the answers we seek standing here. Let us continue. This realm so easily bends to Athelia's will. Could Fargrave be a cast-off portion of Miramor? These crystals definitely signal Athelia's presence. See where they lead, Proxy. Crystal grows more prominent, as if Miramore follows in its prince's way. That door, Proxy. I believe that is our way forward. There you are! We were separated in the portal somehow. Surrounding Fargrave are in turmoil. Something significant shall soon occur. I am sorry, Proxy. I tried to shield our companions, but I could not. It took all the strength I could muster to prevent us from being banished along with them. It seems Shard Marshal Vargas is much more powerful than when we last faced her. Yes. Baragon and Tribune Alea ceased to be real to us, and became real somewhere else. That is the nature of the many paths, and a terrifying example of how the ability to navigate them can be misused. Perhaps, but only if we can find a point of connection in this plane. Shard Marshal Vargas must have hurled our allies through physical distance, as well as beyond this reality. They are... someplace else. The many paths lead to different possibilities, different realities. There is no way to know where Vargas sent them. Our best bet is to continue on. Perhaps we shall locate a connection where the lamp can be used. A lingering memory. Use the echo in the proxy. Your wanderings are futile, Torbislan. What you seek is here. The loom of the untraveled world. I have no idea what it is, but I am certain it's important. 
You can stare at the sealed portal until you go mad, Vargas. I go in search of my missing memories. The memory of Torvasard and Vargas before they recovered what had been forgotten. Let us talk. I almost feel sorry for Athelia's scions. To exist for millennia, tormented by the sense they were missing something, and could not find their purpose. The loom of the untraveled road. That must be the loom Athelia spoke of in Miskarkand. Indeed. Clearly the loom of the untraveled road is an apparatus of great importance. Vargas forgot what it was, yet its existence never ceased to gnaw at her. This is where Athelia's trail has been leading us. We must find a way to follow. Perhaps there is something more here than our mortal senses can perceive. In this reality, the archway and mirrors have long since lost their power. But in the many paths, that might not be so. Use the Lamp of Clarity, Proxy. A dormant portal. Proxy, we must find a way to activate. The symbols the Lamp of Clarity revealed above the mirrors are the same as the ones that appear in the portal archway. There is certainly a connection. The runes above the arch and the runes revealed on the mirrors by the Lamp of Clarity are the same. Perhaps activating the mirrors in a specific order is how we can revive the dormant portal and get inside. The symbols in the mirrors match the symbols above the arch. That must indicate something. I think the order of the symbols is important, Proxy. Dormant portal has awakened. I am curious to see the loom of which Athelia spoke. Let us proceed. Is this another isolated section of Fargrave, or a pocket dimension within the Demiplane? Look, another memory. Use the echo. My loom of the untraveled road fills this place. From its call, 
I can break the shackles of fate, undo mistakes, unlock possibilities, create new histories. Athelia can use the loom to change history. That is how she will restore what was lost. It's magnificent. The folks on the princess see it as a threat. A threat? This is a gift. The gift of unconstrained choice. The loom will weave a new story for every being. What they choose to be true. All shall benefit. A wonderful gift indeed, my prince. Athelia and Vargas have reached the loom's core. We must reach them before they destroy the reality we know. Show off. Athelia's changing it to its mirror or reflection. Do you see the archers before us? I think they mark the doorway to the next part of the loom. I am not sure how to proceed, and we have no time to wander aimlessly. I suspect this structure once housed another portal, but I see nothing here now. Perhaps we should refer to the skein of secrets and see if it indicates the way to Athelia. Are you injured? I am surprised you were not injured, Proxy. Unrolling the skein of secrets appeared to precipitate a reciprocal paroxysm that... That is, it triggered a backlash, as I am sure you noticed. Indeed. And whatever caused that also completely drained the skein's power. Perhaps Athelia protected the loom of the untraveled road against the influences of her rival princes. Or is this some property of the loom itself? I cannot say. Daedric princes are supreme within their own realms. The longer we are delayed, the stronger Athelia grows. In fact, the next defense we trigger may be more dangerous. I do not think it would be wise to use Abolisher here. I have witnessed enough of Athelia's realm to feel the power flowing through it. 
I believe I can use my portal magic to proceed deeper into the loom, perhaps even reach its core. As long as Athelia does not sense our approach, we should be fine. The portal I open should carry us as far as the loom's core. Ophelia does not wish to be disturbed. Brought to the very prison of the This is how it must be, Ophelia. She trapped us in Ophelia's For the sake of reality, you cannot walk free. You cannot contain me forever, Mora. In time, I will escape this cell. No faith that I foresee results in your freedom. I am sorry, Etheria, but I do this to preserve reality. Hermaeus Mora could not predict what he could not perceive. Athelia's science, the unseen. Come, I sense something hidden here. The lab still functions, and it revealed a path. We should follow its guidance. Shard Marshal Vargas sent us somewhere. The far grave we were exploring faded away. I suddenly found myself in another version of our reality. A mirror world. Dark and empty. Full of soul-crushing dread. Like an iron fist around my heart. I don't know how else to explain it. Whatever part of the many paths I was hurled into, it was a dark reflection of our reality. Timeless, empty, not a world made of mirrors, but the world you see in a mirror. Am I making any sense? I don't know. I never saw her after Vargas cast a spell. She might have been in the world I was trapped in, or she could be... Anywhere. On the other side, mirrors are like windows. You can see through them, but that's all. I waited here and hoped. These were the only mirrors I found. I couldn't pass through until you used the lamp. I'm not sure there's a way out of the many paths without some sort of help. Let's stay in this reality, friend. I think we can reach the end of the maze from here. If there is no escape by the road Barragon followed, we must continue on. Lead the way, Proxy. going to get out of there. When Vargas attacked, I saw a flash of light and suddenly I was somewhere else. It looked sort of like Fargrave, but everyone was gone, including Baragon. I wandered until I found those mirrors. Thanks for getting me out of there, comrade. An anomaly like the one we observed at Wendy. We must it work. And the polisher appears on What in the name of all the divine must is that find thing? our way to the 
A Daedric apparatus of unimaginable power. What the one who knows? Now I can undo my long imprisonment. Make it so I was never I can find a path in which the princes and I I shall leave it into this reality. I know nothing about you. Watch out! The Shard Marshal's waiting for us! Defeat Shard Marshal Vargas so we can reach the loop.
fun with that one. <laughs> now, Proxy, use Abolisher to destroy the loom. to Athelia. Athelia has become... something else. Abolisher is depleted. But it did its job. The loom has been destroyed. I shall open an exit. Let us leave this place. Good to see you, comrade. Baragon's waiting for you in the relic room. Hello, friend. Put the relics in the case, please. They may be powerless now, but we shouldn't forget the part they played in all this. I'm not sure I want to keep those in my house forever, but... That's good for now. Let's talk. I know losing the use of the relics is bad, but at least we destroyed the loom and stopped Athelia from changing our reality. You know, I can't even conceive of what that actually means. But now that we're back in Westweald, on to local matters. I convinced Count Calantius and Greenspeaker Derelith to sit down and talk, they're finally ready to discuss stabilizing relations between Skingrad and Vashabar. I offered my home as a private venue for their meeting. They also want to speak to you. Don't look so surprised. You're a hero! You brought down Nantharian and defeated Shard Marshal Vargas. Yes, there are recollection and Shardborn stragglers to deal with, but you earned the trust of both Wood Elves and Colovians through your actions. They're waiting for you out in the hall. I don't know what exactly they want to talk about, but it probably wouldn't hurt to remind them that friends make better neighbors than enemies. Traveller, we hope to see you here. I'm told you killed King Nantharian beneath Vashabar's very roots. I know he had to be stopped, yet the tragedy will haunt me. He started with a great vision before he wandered onto dark paths. Vashabar is done with kings, but I can speak for the people of Dawnwood. It falls to me to make good on the obligation Nantharian left us. We must try to make amends for the damage he inflicted on Westweald. You and Tribune Alea showed us what's possible when we accept a little help. We can't give back what Nantharian has taken, but we can promise to be good neighbours going forward. And we will not advance beyond Dawnwood. That is all we need. If we find any more Wildburn seeds, we will destroy them. 
As for the area of devastation, our Greenspeakers shall attempt to repair the damage and restore the land. It will take time, but nature will heal. It always does. Tribunalea has spoken at length about you and enthralled me with tales of your exploits on behalf of Westwheel. And to think you're not even a native of Skingrad or Vashabar. I hope it isn't too late for us to learn something from your example. It will not be easy to overcome the distrust the recollection sowed between Colovians and Wood Elves. But thanks to your valiant defense of Westwheel, I think I can convince my people to see the opportunities here, not just the threats. For my part, yes. Of course, I must persuade some nobles and landowners to part with abandoned estates they can no longer return to, but I want to see the new forest held by allies of Skingrad, not left empty to be overrun by monsters and outlaws. I spend a lot of coin to buy land, and with that land, I secure a treaty of cooperation with our new neighbors. I thank you, hero. You aided Westwield in our time of need. Wherever your journey leads next, Skingrad is forever in your debt. Nantherian betrayed all we hold sacred, Count Calantius. And he has paid for his crimes with his life. I want no war Through all we faced, it wasn't until I was lost in the many paths that I realized the true danger to the wield. I think you saved everything when you destroyed the loom of the untraveled road. Of course, Athelia is still out there. Somewhere. That's tomorrow's problem, friend. You stopped the recollection, and you held back the forces of Miramor. The people of Westweald can handle what's left of Athelia's servants. We're free to find our own way forward now. Thanks to you. I know the history of our world is far from perfect, but I'm glad we stopped Athelia from changing everything that happened since the time of the Aeliads. Not even a Daedric prince could get that right, I think. Anyway, we've earned a rest. You know, it's funny. Not very long ago, I would have told you all I wanted was to deal with the threat of the recollection, and then retire from adventuring again. Go back to my books and scrolls. Enjoy the peace and quiet. I like being unretired. I think I was getting too comfortable puttering around in this great big house. After our recent adventures together, I'm ready for a few more. Little ones, anyway. And preferably not too dangerous. Oh, right. Nantharian told you I was called Baragon Sharpdagger, the hero of Ninglenir Pass. Look, I happen to be in the right place at the right time. I help save some wood elves caught between bandits and a rampaging lurcher. No big deal. I don't think we're done with Athelia, comrades. I think Athelia has other concerns, which may become our problem later. For now, let's enjoy our victory.